Boys, today we're going to be talking about the top 10 budget beasts that you guys need in your lineup right now. These are going to be cards in this video that are better than some of these God Squad cards like Willie Mays, Babe Ruth. They can hold their own with these guys, but for a fraction of the price. In this video, I'm going to be talking about free cards number one, and I'm also going to be talking about cards on the marketplace for under 15,000 stubs. Sometimes later in the year, I will make budget cards about 25k, but it's really hard to get stubs at this type of year, so we're going to put our cap at 15k. And before we get into today's video, make sure that you guys drop a like and a sub, because I love doing these type of videos, and let's get right into it. Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They're offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with quick delivery. If you're interested, please click the link in the description and check out their services. Use my code Brady for 5% off your purchase. First things first, this is in no particular order. I like to kind of mix and match with these. And so I might say that this card is probably the best. I'm going to talk about some of the better cards at the beginning of the video. But it's really hard to pick one definite one. Although I have one that's special in my heart right now and I'm going to talk about it at the beginning. But our number one card in Diamond Dynasty for Budget Beast right now is this Willie Castro card. Now, almost everybody has this card right now, and so I'm not going to really go over it, but it's going for about 6,000 stubs right now. This card rakes. I mean, he is just one of the best hitters in the game right now. I don't even think that's a hot take to say. 106, 121 for contact and 70s across the board. Uh, whenever we're talking about power numbers, especially when you get in parallel it up. What's so good about this card is the 117 clutch. A lot of these lower overall cards who don't have really good, like, uh, don't have really good vision. They'll have really good contact and power stats, but they'll have horrible horrible vision or horrible clutch or both. I understand 50 vision is not it whenever you get to Hall of Fame. However, a lot of you guys are not at Hall of Fame yet. So if you are a World Series caliber, caliber player, this is definitely somebody who's really good. Definitely somebody who can maybe be your seven, eight or nine spot, but through all-star, I mean, I'm hitting, I'm hitting 520 with a dude, 520 in BR. This guy is disgusting. He's, he's absolutely disgusting. So I would really use this Willie Castro card. He's amazing. At the number nine spot today, I know it's not a ranking, but we're talking about 10 more cards, is J.D. Davis. Now, J.D. Davis, the only thing I will say about this card, great hitter, absolutely mashes. I think I'm hitting like 550 with him too, but he has bad clutch, man. He has such good hitting stats. He just has really, really bad clutch. And so J.D. Davis is somebody who's going for 8K right now on the market, or you can get him through playing the Battle Royale program, which I have been absolutely grinding. That's why he's already parallel too, but he's really good. He's just got a really good swing. I haven't really seen, like with Willie Castro too, I know these are lower fielding cards. I, you don't make errors with them. You don't make errors. Sometimes you will get bad animations, but a lot of the time it's just timing up your throw timing. And so it's not really going to be a big deal. I've gotten some really good like animations with both the JVD, JD Davis and I've seen a lot of my diamond cards that I have, like better diamond cards that are like 95s, 99s, is they're not as good as JD Davis in the outfield. Like obviously Willie Mays is a lot better in center field, but JD Davis in left field, he makes his plays, he does all right. I don't notice him. If he makes like a bad read on a like a ball, like a ball in the gap or something, and gets that little weird like lag animation, that's something that I haven't really dealt with yet. Like he's fine, okay? So don't I've seen gold like gold fielding cards do about the same as J.D. Davis. So J.D. Davis is my left fielder for the foreseeable future. You can get it for 8K, really good swing. Next two cards are going to be cards that you can get from the XP reward path. They are not sellable, but you can get them really fast. Um, just the hitter's team captain pack. You get them at about 100,000. My number one this year is Adalberto Mondesi. If you've never used an Adalberto Mondesi or if you're new to MLB The Show, let me just tell you, this card is just amazing. He always does really, really well. He hits really above his stats. And what's so good about this card is I know a bunch of you guys are going to do it. You can bunch cheese with this guy all day. 97 speed lefty. He's going to hit 500 if you bunch cheese with him. I know he's got, a, he's got a 70 bunt and 65 drag bunt. That plays. That plays. You're going to pull it towards the second base side. And you're going to be a little bit of a scumbag for it. But he's going to get on about 60% of the time in your leadoff spot. And when he is on, he's got 97 speed, 99 steal. He can steal bags like crazy. One of the be best speed threats in the game. He is amazing. I love this card. Alberto Montesi, I think we have at number seven. Great, great card. 
At the number six spot, we have another one of these cards, and this is the 87 Joey Gallo. I know this is the XP reward path. If you guys are wanting to know how to get these cards, how to get these budget boys, and you really want to get a ton of XP, make sure you guys go check out my XP video. I just ended up making one of those. But Joey Gallo is amazing. I mean, he's just a really, really good card, and he gets some good boosts too. Plus seven power versus righties if you can get eight rangers. Um, you can literally just do that by throwing four on your bench, and plus seven's a lot this year. Plus seven is a lot. And I'm seeing a lot of guys with kind of these theme teams. And honestly, I'm for it. And I think that they might be a little bit better this year. Last year, they just weren't very good. It was like 5, 10, and 15. But the tier one boost being plus seven power, plus seven contact, that's pretty dang good. And you can see that these are just your squad. So I can put five bullpen Texas Rangers on my team. And every single Ranger in my lineup is going to have plus seven pop, plus seven contact. That's pretty good. At the number five spot, we're going to have our first team affinity card, and it's Emmanuel Classe. He comes from the AL Central. He is disgusting. Outlier cutter, 102 cutter. I mean, just, I don't know what else I have to say. 102 mile an hour cutter that he will throw. He has 108 hits per nine, and his pitching clutch is a little bit bad, but I mean, I haven't seen him do anything bad so far. He's on my squad, and I haven't used him a ton. However, whenever I start playing ranked and getting into ranked, this is my closer. He's going to be my dude. He is a great card, a really good card, and he's going to be one of the best bullpen guys out there, definitely one of the better guys in this video, but get him by doing the AL Central uh, Team Affinity, and if you need help doing that, make sure you check out my video on that as well. The next guy is definitely another BR guy, and he, I know that there are some better first basements in the game. However, I think Tony Clark, for this time in the game, is one of the better first basements in the game, and he's a really good budget guy, okay? So, you can get it for 8200 right now. He's just really good. He's a good card, okay? So, contact power numbers are amazing. Um, he hit 765 for me in my BR run that I went 10-2 and two in. Like, he's really, really, really good. Um, ended up helping me get Acuna. But Tony Clark is just, he's a good card. He's a really, really good card. And I would really recommend getting him if you don't have him. Good clutch at 95. I understand this isn't like top of the tier, like Babe Ruth type card, but he's kind of a budget baller. He will hang with a lot of those good cards. He's a switch hitting first baseman, the best switch hitting first baseman in the game. It's not even close. And I love switch hitters. I need like at least three switch hitters in my lineup or I'm just going to, I'm going to stink. I'm going to be really, really bad. So I need Tony Clark in my lineup. I like him a lot. Super, super fun. Um, so make sure you guys pick up Tony Clark if you haven't already. Really good card, about six, 7,000 stubs, and he can really do it. Next card I'm actually going to talk about is Live Series Jacob DeGrom for 14,000 stubs, 12,000 buy order. Now, if you've never faced a Jacob DeGrom card, you can understand it's a five-pitch mix. It's absolutely disgusting, and he's just really good. 14K buy now, 12K sale now if you put in a sell order for him. But man, this card's good. Outlier heater, sliders at 94. I understand he's only 80 hits per nine, but this card, if you've ever used this one, he's really, really good, and he's gonna he's gonna shove because he's just got a great pitch mix. A great pitch mix. Pick up Jacob DeGrom if you haven't already. While we're on the pitching side, I'm gonna talk about Luis Castillo for 7,000 stubs. Also, if you're thinking about live series starting pitching, I really like to add two starters in here every single time. Now, there are some good starting pitching from, like, I think you can get Granky from the AL Central. He's okay, he's not bad, but he doesn't have velo and he doesn't have a sinker, okay? Luis Castillo's stuff is some of the better stuff in the game, and he's actually got better control than a lot of people think. Um, his control being at 70 is pretty good at this point in the year. I understand it's not going to be like a John Donaldson type thing. However, Luis Castillo is a really good card, and he throws 100, and he has a sinker, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't have outlier, but he does on his break. He's good. He's good. He's a good card. I'm actually using him right now, and I will be using him as my three starter whenever I start my ranch grind. But really good card. Pick him up if you haven't already. 7K, you really can't beat it. And personally, I would rather use some of these live series guys that are about the same than I would use some of these uh, just AL Central guys. Like There are some good ones, but not really at 100 hits per nine, so pick up Luis Castillo. As far as bullpen guys, I like to add a couple of these at the end. Devin Williams is still probably the best reliever in the game. He's got 114 hits per nine and 118 pitching clutch. 
really good card. If you've never faced his screwball before, you understand that it's just totally disgusting. And he's going for 1,200 stubs. So if you need a bullpen guy, pick up Devin Williams for 1,200 stubs. He'll throw one inning, and he'll probably be my closer. Even though I have a lot of guys like Klaze and a couple of other dudes, Devin Williams is just really, really good. Uh, 114 hits for nine. I mean, I don't know what else to say. His pitches are absolutely disgusting, too. That screwball, it doesn't matter who you are. You are going to swing at that screwball in the dirt. It moves a ton. For lefty bullpen guys, Tanner Scott's a better dude for 1500k, but I've seen better ones. Like I like Andrew Chaflin right now. He's pretty good also. They're both about 1500 stubs and you can get them and they're both really good lefty bullpen guys. So just pick up one or two of these guys, you'll be okay. You want to make sure that their pitching clutch is usually above 95, especially for relievers. And both of these guys that I mentioned, Chafin and Tanner Scott, both are. So make sure you pick either one of those guys up. I like to have at least two lefties in my pin. And right now I'm rocking some of these lefty bull. I know he doesn't have like a changeup or anything, but these 84s are okay. And uh, sinker, slider, four seam, you can get by with that. He throws 99, like you're okay. And the last one I'm to talk about, last bullpen piece is going to be Billy Wagner. 116 hits per nine, 125 pitching clutch, four seam slider, changeup, curveball. Really good stats, a really good closing pitcher. You get this guy from the team affinity of NL East. He's an 89, but he's probably going to be on my team for a very long time because this card is amazing. One of the better lefties in the game. If you don't have him, you're missing out. But this is kind of going to conclude uh, the budget piece. I want to let you guys know that there are a ton of guys that I haven't tried out yet that are really amazing. So make sure that you let me know down in the comment section below who your favorite budget beast in the game right now is. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash that like and sub button. I'll talk to you boys later. Have a great rest of your day and peace.